Guys, it's Carter. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are all having a fantastic day today. Now, in today's video, we're going to be talking about and answering a very, very common question that I get asked is, Carter, I want to swing trade, but I only have $100. Can I do it? So we're going to be talking about this. So I hope you guys all enjoy this. If you guys do, hit that like button and subscribe. Also, during this video, we're going to be talking about a strategy that I've used that works very, very well for growing a small account. So stay tuned for that. And if you guys want to learn more, about swing trading and trading in general, I would highly recommend going on and checking out my swing trading school where you guys can learn how I find these stocks and opportunities, my strategies, my mindset, pretty much how I've been a full-time trader for over six years. We have private live streams. We have a group chat, quizzes, lectures. It's absolutely fantastic and I will see you in there. And right now you guys can use code half off, all caps to get 50% off. So check it out right now and guys, let's jump in into this here. So like I said, a very, very common question that I get asked with trading is, Carter, I have $100, I have $50, I have two, three, four hundred dollars can I swing trade? And the short answer to that question is yes. You can swing trade with a small amount of money, but where I see a lot of people have huge mistakes is they have $100 and they're expecting to make 100 bucks a week. The reality of it is, is if you have a small amount of money, you have to have very, very realistic expectations with yourself. And what I mean by this is if you have $100 in your account, your goal shouldn't be to make $10 or, you know, $30, $40. It should be to pretty much make two to $5 every single week. Now, if you guys can do that, you are a profitable trader. And the only thing that is separating you from making more money isn't your strategy, isn't isn't you know the broker you use it's actually your account size so start that process of compounding your account and that's why i love trading is because the profits you make today can be used as leverage for tomorrow so yes to answer that question you can swing trade with a small amount of money but starting out i would definitely highly recommend you guys you know, start that process of learning and paper trading rather than funding a account and not understanding anything that's going on and you guys blow through that money. So invest into that education before you guys fund an account and you guys will be better suited. So guys, I do also want to talk about uh, today some of, you know, the strategies that the pretty much works very, very well for me here for growing a small account here. So we're up and loaded here. This is the broker I use. I use Mumu. They're absolutely fantastic. They do offer paper trading. They do offer great charting, great scanning, all that stuff. So it's really, really cool. Now, one of the things here that I love trading is I love finding stocks that are on some sort of upward trend like this that have sold off down to some level of, of support here. So support could be a variety of things here. It could be these moving average lines, which I normally will trade. These are my bread and butter trades here. We have the 90 day, we have the 200 day moving average line. And you guys can see in the past, they've used it as support where it hits it and we got that great buying pressure. But what this trade is a little different here is actually using trend lines. So trend lines are super, super important here. And this is pretty much how I've traded. So what we want to look for is a trend with at least three touch points. So you guys can see here we have one, we have two, we have three. And then recently the stock came and hit it and we got four. So with this type of trade, you could have kind of two approaches with it. The first approach is hopping in when we get some buying pressure. The second approach is shorting it when we get some selling pressure and we get a breakdown here. With this stock here, we did enter and we got a pretty decent fill near and around this 165 area, which is a pretty solid fill. And this stock has squeezed up just today alone up about 4%, which is absolutely fantastic. So this is an easy trend line strategy that you guys can do. All you're doing is you're finding the lows of these dips, right? And you're drawing and you're putting a line on it. It's crazy how a line can play such a major factor into determining if you should buy this position. Now, with all swing trades, you always need to understand your stop loss and you know all of your risk management. So the great thing about this here with Mumu is right now, uh, they do have this really cool thing called the long, 
it's like a long position ratio. So what you can do is you can actually set your stop loss. You can draw your target price. So you guys can see right now, our target price is gonna be the resistance up here at about 175. So we're risking about $1 to make $2, and we're obviously setting our stop loss just below that trend. So this is a simple strategy that you guys can use. I do wanna show you guys one other one here. This is one of the ones that we are actually holding here, and this is Procter & Gamble. Procter & Gamble is a position that we are, you know, we're in on, we had heavy support here on the 90 day moving average line. We're up about $2 a share, but you guys can see Procter & Gamble used to have this nice trend right here. And you guys could see that it dipped below that trend. This would have been a good opportunity for a short where you short it to the nearest support, which is gonna be the moving average lines. But in this circumstance, you guys can see, we see a lot of support, like I've said, on moving average lines. So we hopped in near and around this 154 area. As of right now, the stock is up to one, about 156. In an ideal world, what we would love with this one is to set our target price all the way up here at old resistance to see if we can get a push up even higher. That's a risk and reward of about five, uh, five to one, risking $1 to make $5, which is awesome here. But as of right now, this is sitting at about a two to one risk and reward. So I'm very, very happy with this position that we're in on and we're up pretty handsomely with this. But this is a very, very simple strategies that you guys can do, whether you're growing a $10,000 account or a $100 account. The biggest thing that I want to you know, tell you guys is if you're just starting out, invest into education. You know, that's going to be where the money gets made. Isn't from, you know, isn't from funding an account with $50. It's not going to be worth it. But if you have a good strategy, a good mindset, then it's going to be a lot easier for you guys to grow an account. So I'd highly recommend going on and checking out my swing trading school where you guys can learn how to swing trade. And guys, I hope you guys all enjoy it. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one. And super, super exciting news, guys. We are going live today at about 1 p.m. So check that out. And look at this. We got our own trading journal. This is so cool. You guys can have trade breakdowns. So check this out down below. It's on Amazon. It's absolutely fantastic. And all course members uh, get the e version of this. So check that out as well. And I hope you guys all enjoyed this. If you guys do like subscribe, like I said, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Hope you guys have a fantastic day and uh, let's go make some money trading guys.